Susan Trapp, and today we're going to work on three ingredient recipes. Today's recipe is three ingredient chili. Many people are trying not to eat beef, and with the COVID uh, virus going around, beef is harder to get a hold of. So we're going to make our chili today with soy crumbles. Um, these you can buy in any supermarket. They're in the frozen section. And if you look at them, you can see that they look very much like hamburger, uh, ground hamburger. So we're gonna start with about a half of a bag of the soy crumbles, and we're gonna put them over a medium high flame and let them start to cook. While they cook here, we're going to drain the beans so that we can get them ready to pour into the pan. Beans are very healthy for you. They have lots of fiber, they have some protein, and, and they have some um, vitamins and minerals that are very good for your digestion and your health. The problem is they can give you gas. And here's why. I'm going to open up these beans. These are red kidney beans, dark red kidney beans. They're my family's favorite for chili, but you can use pinto beans, navy beans, black beans, whichever kind of bean you want in here. I'm going to pour them into a sieve, just like this, and then I'm going to rinse them. And watch what happens when I rinse them. You see how all those bubbles pop up as soon as I put the water to them? Those bubbles are the ingredients that cause gas. And if you don't rinse them off, those bubbles are going to end up in your digestive tract. So while, you're, while your hamburger or, or your soy crumbles cook, take a minute and you can see I'm, I'm doing quite a bit of rinsing until none of those bubbles are left anymore. This will make your chili a lot easier to digest. I won't give you a tummy ache. After I've got them rinsed, I make sure that I drain out all the extra water so I'm not pouring a bunch of water into my chili. By the time I rinsed off my beans, my soy crumbles were ready. So I put them all in here. And finally, the third ingredient in our chili is um, petite diced tomatoes already done for you and full of mild green chilies. This will give your chili the kind of tang that you're used to when you eat it it's without making it too hot if you don't like things that are really spicy. Then I take and stir this all together and that's it. This is a very easy recipe, but it's also very tasty. That is three ingredient chili. But, my family likes a little tang in theirs. One of the things you can do, if you want to, is add a package of, of chili seasoning to your chili, and this will give it a little bite, a little zing, make it just a little bit hot. We use the mild kind, it comes all the way up to spicy, and even in some cases you can get it that it is flaming hot. But that's up to you. You get to you get to make your chili any way you want to. Stir that in. Let it cook for about two or three minutes until the flavors mix, and you're ready to go. Now that my basic chili is done, one of the fun things about chili is being able to make it your own. So here I have green onions, diced white onions, cheddar cheese, and sour cream. It is up to you how you want to uh, spice your chili, but all of these extra ingredients make for a fun party if you've got people over. Let people individualize their chili so it can be any way they want. The onions give it the bite. Cheddar cheese will help take that bite away so that that spice that's in there, the cheddar cheese will help calm it down a little bit for you if you're, uh, if you're sensitive to those kind of 
hot flavors. Same with sour cream. A little bit of sour cream on there. And you have yourself a wonderful bowl of chili. Enjoy your three ingredient recipes. Thank you.